The question you have to ask yourself with Madam Web, the movie, is whether or not it is meant to be a meme movie. Is it, is it supposed to be a joke? Is it supposed to be a joke? That is the fundamental question at the core of this movie because there are so many choices in this movie. Writing, directing, acting, that are so unbelievably ham-fisted. I can't, I can't, you can't believe it until you see it. There are so many things in this movie that are like, who is responsible for this? It is it is a feat. It is something to see. It is something to see. Um, yeah, wow. It, it, it's, it is giving 2003 Disney Channel original movie straight to television. Uh, some of the line deliveries are just like, you have powers now. Like, And it's from the first scene to the very end. It's like just all over. And I don't blame the actors because it's so across the board. There are a few really great performances here, but... It's, I mean, even with those, I mean, it's just so across the board, like, uncannily bad. It's like, are they, do, are this, a, am I being, is it, am I going to get to meet Ashton? What's going on here? Where this, this is a prank. It's a high school music reference for you. It's a Disney channel. It doesn't matter. Um, so basically, let's go character by character. Let's talk about Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson is the only thing holding this movie together. She actually is quite good, quite good. For the most part, amazing performance. Her acting is the core of the movie. Without it, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a movie. Um, it's barely a movie. Uh, no, I'm kidding. It's fine. Um, two things this movie really has going for it early on. Uh, you, you'll be the first hour of the movie. I'm on board. I actually really was enjoying it. Um, it was full of weird choices and craziness, but I was like, you know what? Despite all of these weird things that keep happening, um, I'm liking this movie. I'm actually quite enjoying it. Uh, and and it's, it's basically because to go to go to Johnson. The movie has two things going for it early on in the movie. One of them are these time battles. This movie this is gonna have some mild spoilers. Um, nothing like really groundbreakingly crazy. Actually, I might spoil one thing that's a little groundbreaking crazy, but it's not a plot twist in the movie. I'm just gonna say it. If you really care about the movie, it's not a plot twist that I'm gonna spoil for you. It's just it's I feel like you deserve to know going in. You deserve to know this. If you care about you, you respect yourself. Dakota John I'm mean, not Dakota John. Sydney Sweetney, as little said, Celeste O'Connor, the three spiderlings, they don't get powers in the movie. It doesn't happen. That was a lie in the trailer anyways um isn't that weird and they also don't say the funny line the uh, uh spiders with my mother before she died did wasn't in the movie they took it out i don't know maybe it was dakota johnson got mad i don't know anyways two things the movie was going for it early on is the time battles the time battles were really cool early it's like uh you know she can see the future he's got like these really he's super powerful she is just this like the, the, the two things that are working in tandem, she's also got this really interesting like emotional core for the first half of the movie where like she really hates like kids and like pets. Like she doesn't she doesn't have connection to other human beings and she's like an outcast kind of. And she doesn't she's like leave like keeps that stuff at arm's length, you know? So she's in this situation where she has to save these girls because she can see that they're going to die. And it's like really fun to watch the like mental game first of all of like her versus the other guy and like how she can like how she tries to avoid these things it's, it's actually pretty cool there's some really fun like kind of riveting scenes there and also it's fun to see her get forced to bond with the like in the in the process of all of that like she doesn't want to save these kids she doesn't want to have be having these villain visions like she just wants to like go back to her life but like you know, it's like that hero moment where you're called. She was called into being a hero, and I'm always a sucker for that kind of stuff. You know, she's called into it. She sees, literally, if I don't do something, like, it's very compelling to me. Like, if I don't do something right now, these people are going to die. If I don't I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this, I don't want to be a hero, I don't want to help these people, but I want to save these girls because I literally have to. No one else is going to do it. I have to do it. They're going to die if I don't. So it was good, and that was set up really well, and that was really, there was it was emotionally interesting, um, and it was fun to kind of watch her early on like watch those that her and the three girls kind of interact and it, there was some kind of fun stuff there um it all completely falls apart by the end the end of the movie is again the whole climax of this movie is one of the craziest things i've ever seen i was sitting there like just looking around like first of all the the the, the, the power stuff gets totally lost gets totally lost i mean it's still there but the, what they do with it like it's such a cool unique like time thing that it's like you got to have some moments and the, the climax needs to be this mental game, right? Where you're, it's, it's, I mean, there were like some really riveting moments that, that, that led to in the early parts and it was just completely gone in the climax and it, it gets so crazy and ham-fisted and weird and stupid and silly and makes no sense. It's just like, what the fuck am I watching? It's crazy. It's actually, it's, it, it's kind of sad because like the movie actually 
starts off kind of good and it makes you say, oh, wait, maybe this is going to be good. And then it's like, why did you get my hopes up if you were just going to be this? If you were just going to be what everybody made fun of you for, it, it ended up being like, why did you get your hopes up? Get my hopes up. It was kind of sad. Um, Nicole Johnson also has one other really great moment where she has a flashback with her mom that I thought was actually quite touching. Um, but everything else, I mean, it's just a mess. Even, even an example with Dakota Johnson's character that I, that I wanted to hone in on that kind of tells you what this movie is like. It's very Disney, right? It's like... She's looking over these. She knows she has these powers. She can use these visions. She's trying to figure them out. And she's looking through this book, right? And she realizes that she might be able to climb on walls. And then she can't and she falls. And it's kind of funny, right? And it would have been really great. And Dakota Johnson totally could have sold this to watch her look at the book, look at the wall. And, like, you kind of have that realization with her. And you kind of see her, like, go for it. And she kind of – and then it just fails. Instead, she's literally giving in – a, a, a monologue as she like talking to herself she's like oh i wonder if i can climb on walls i should try to see if i should climb on it's like you don't have to do that like even it's it, like i'm not like we're not i'm not saying we, it's high art you don't have to you know you you can you can you can play around you can say things but we're not seven like i'm not seven years old like you don't have to say that and it's that's all this movie is from start to finish. Anyway, it's just that, that's just you have to see it for yourself. Uh, Sydney Sweeney, Isabella Merced, Celeste O'Connor, uh, Sydney Sweeney, obviously a generational talent, one of the greatest actresses of our generation. Two Emmys in one year at that age, incredible, incredible. Sydney Sweeney, you're amazing. We love you, sister. You're phoning it in here. You're phoning it in, Sydney Sweeney. I'm allowed to say it. I can say it. Look, I can. I'm saying it. You know you're doing it. You know. I mean, look, you know this movie is bad, and I don't even blame you. I don't blame any of the actors in this movie again because from top to bottom, almost every performance is crazy. It's crazy. There's so many weird choices. Um, their characters are nothing characters. These three girls, they begin by having personality traits. Sydney Sweeney is like the kind of, ooh, like nervous girl that like actually like has a lot going on there and like wants to get out of her shell. She never gets out of her shell. She never, I mean, maybe in a way she kind of does, but like she doesn't ever get a moment. It's like, uh, um, she's just kind of this and then she's kind of not. By the end, it's weird. Is all said, literally gets one thing early on which is that she's nerdy there's this scene in, in in early on where she kind of does the kind of thing that like the nerdy character does where she's like well actually um according to the laws of gravity da 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 and they're all like okay well nerd but then that is literally the last time that ever comes up she never ever ever does anything nerdy again that was a one time line that never came back up it was so weird um, they just completely forgot about that entirely. Um, and then she was just a nothing character. And then Celeste O'Connor um, is uh, like the cool, edgy one with the skateboard who like, you know, says, fuck you, flips off people and stuff, stuff like that. And like, um, you know, again, that doesn't go anywhere. By the end, that's gone and there's not really any. Um, it's just it's just very, very poorly and sloppily done. Like there's the whole, oh, them learning to, they don't really have parents, which is kind of, it, it's, it's actually quite compelling in, a, it, in the setup at least, you know. And then Dakota Johnson like, you know, doesn't, really want to be taking care of people she doesn't want kids she doesn't have emotions that kind of thing and there's a really interesting setup it's a great setup for them to bond throughout this but it just ends up being super rushed and weird and horrible and the acting is weird and it's not their fault it's just it's just a mess it's just a mess um i will say adam scott was a pleasure adam scott's always a pleasure he was he was wonderful he was fantastic from top to bottom every scene he was in the one thing is the movie doesn't do him justice because there's this great scene or not great scene they, they skip it's like they skip a scene it's like they cut a scene from the movie basically there's a moment where you have where she has to bring adam scott in to the action you know it's like the moment where like the normal guy uh it's in it's in like every like it's the movie the moment when dr strange and Doctor strange one needs christine to like do surgery to save somebody maybe himself i don't know and she's like dealing with the fact that he's like a ghost and she's like learning what's going on but also like is a good person and it's just going to help anyway like you kind of love I, I like that a lot i like that setup and especially with adam scott he can make he can have so much fun with that like that's made for like an adam scott type character but they they skip that scene so like she needs to bring him into the action. All he knows is that she's gone. She maybe is a kidnapper. The police are looking for her. It's like all this stuff. And they skip the scene where she shows up at his door and is like, hey, I can see the future, da 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 And he's like, this makes no sense, but I'm going to help you because I'm, I'm going to do it anyway because I'm a good guy and I want to, you know, like we missed that amazing great moment and we just skip to the part where he's helping her. And it's like, you get the kind of echoes of it, you get the tail end of it, and you're like, okay, I like that 
he's he's just kind of down. He's just kind of there, and it's like cool. Like I, again, I like that you're just you're there to play ball. You're just a normal guy, but you're not gonna let your friend. You know, you're a good person. You're gonna be there when you need to be there. I like that, but we missed the transition from you not knowing anything to suddenly helping. And it was just super weird. And it was like, that was his moment. Like you skipped over his one, that would have been it. That was it. Um, I just realized there is one thing that could be spoiled in this movie. One thing that you'll probably miss. My friend pointed out to me afterwards. There's like a fun Easter egg with some of the names of the characters. Pay attention to the names of the characters. I won't spoil it, obviously. Um, Tahar Rahim as the villain in this movie. Um, how can I say this delicately? Um, will never work again. Will never work again. I, 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 that is my prediction. Here's, here's what I'm going to say. He, I don't blame him. I don't blame him because again, it's so top to bottom in this film, but he, this is the worst performance I've ever seen in a real movie. Like barring like Tommy Wiseau type shit. Like this is the worst performance I've ever seen. He, he but I don't, because this, I think he's a perfect example of how whoever directed this, what's going on there, buddy? What are we doing? Because from the first scene that he was in, someone needed to say, hey, I know you're going for this, but you're kind of giving me this. This isn't it. This isn't what you're going for. And, like, you can work with an actor and, like, get them exactly. Because he's close. He's close to coming up with this, like, uncanny kind of weird villain. Like, he's almost there, actually. And I think that he could have gotten there. Like, he doesn't seem like he's talentless. Um, But no one told him, maybe, throughout the whole movie. No, no, no direct. The director didn't ever say, hey... Let me show you. Let's 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 talk this through. Like no one told him. So the whole movie, he is giving a performance that I can only imagine he was sitting in the theater watching and maybe sobbing to himself at, at how his career is over. It's it is the worst performance I've ever seen. It is horrible, horrible. Every single line delivery of his in the entire movie is crazy. It's crazy. Um, it's one of those things you have to see to believe. But again, I don't blame him, and I'm sorry. I hate to be that kind of a hater. I don't know. I, I'm sorry, guys. Um, Last thing, Zosia Mamet from Girls. Again, an amazing talent, a wonderful actress. In Girls, she is so unbelievably good. I've seen like a season or two of that. Um, totally phoning it in, nothing character. I don't blame her at all. It's not her fault. The character is nothing, no anything. She's just literally there because she's there to give exposition and be a plot device. What a waste of such a fantastic actress, right? Um, and when I say, it's, I don't know. She didn't, I, it doesn't, I didn't really, I wasn't blown away by her in this movie, but again, what I, I feel like from top to bottom, everybody was just top to bottom. I keep saying that top to bottom, top to bottom. I learned, oh, learned a new phrase yesterday, and you're just okay, yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, what a weird movie! What a weird movie. Uh, but yeah, I, oh, 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 I don't know if I said this. I only reason I had seen this early is because I happened to be at the LA premiere, and uh, that doesn't very happen very often. Someone happened to have a ticket. I'm not in. I'm not in any circles. Right? You trust me. I'm, I'm in no circles. There are no circles that I'm in. But I happened to have a friend who got a ticket because of a thing, and they didn't want to go, and so I went. So the only reason I'm even making this video because I haven't uploaded in a year, and I'm I'm working on a video. Don't worry, it's coming out very soon, next week or two, actually. Um, only reason I even made this is because I was like, hey, I could be the first person to ever on, on the internet to make a review of Madam Web. That's pretty cool. Um, did the critic embargo imply to me? No, right? It's 9 a.m. tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a critic, right? I mean, I am, but I'm not like a real one. I was at the premiere. You can't stop me. Um, maybe they can. It'll be fine. I'm in law school. I should probably look this up. It's going to be fine. I don't care. Um, but I do have a video coming very soon. It's scripted. I'm, I'm done with the unscripted stuff, I say, in an unscripted video. I know. Maybe not entirely done, but... There's a scripted video coming about the MCU. I've been working on it for a long time. For months, I hired an editor, like a real editor, guys. I paid him and everything. Um, I literally just got the final cut today. I'm d it's done. I'm working on the thumbnail. I'm getting this video out. I'm getting it up. So it will be coming very soon. Thank you for watching. I don't know why, you know, Madam Web, who would have thought that I would ever review this movie? But when you get the when you get to be the first person to review something on the internet, that could get you like, I don't know, like 12 more views than normal. So whatever. This took me like 15 minutes, so... This movie is crazy.